Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. You might know me from Blazer Train or the .NET Show, or even before that from .NET Rocks. Um, I'm here with Don Webier from Dev Express. How you doing, buddy? Very good, Carl. Very good. I wish I was at Build. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I am at Build. I don't actually know if I'm there or not, but we are here and we're going to talk about uh, taking a Blazor app and migrating that or using Blazor components in a Maui app. You know, Blazor goes everywhere and it even goes into a Maui app. So you can build Maui apps with XAML or you can build Maui apps with Blazor and you get all the benefits of the Blazor component model, like the easy binding and all that stuff. XAML is a little trickier, but here's one caveat that I learned. You can't on the same page combine XAML controls and Blazor controls because they're two totally different systems, but you can have XAML pages and Blazor pages, and you can navigate back and forth between them. This is all stuff that I talked about on the .NET show. Yeah, but you have a demo here, a Blazor application, and you're going to show us how it works, and then we're going to see it in use in a Maui app. So tell me what we're looking at here. Yeah, absolutely, Carl. Yeah, we have obviously a set of very nice Blazor controls, but we also have a set of Maui controls. And I'm going to show you how you have a Maui application and how you can incorporate your existing application, which you build in Blazor, into this Maui application. Mm. And uh, it is absolutely cool. I mean, it will save you a ton of work. Sure. And uh, yeah, let's let's have a quick look. I have set up a small uh, Blazor uh, server application here. Let me quickly run it. So we'll have an idea of what we're looking at. And... Here it is, and what you see here is a, a page that holds our DevExpress data grid. Mm. Uh, we have some, some grouping enabled, and it shows a list of issues. Very nice. And in this case, we have uh, a click mechanism that once you click on one of the items, you go back to go to another view and you can see the details of this particular issue. And here we can go back. Okay. Uh, yeah, so then we have a couple of things um, which are out of the box in the data grid, the Blazor data grid, uh, like uh, searching. Uh, I mean, I can, well, well let me, let me, Make let me sure find that one. you picked one that were those things. Are they... Yeah, uh, obviously, uh, yeah. So, there we go. This, this works out of the box uh, by just enabling it. What okay. we also did is that we have a, uh, a grid which has a number of columns and you can actually customize that and show or hide columns or even Great. change the order. Oh, nice. And this is all standard behavior. Very but, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, I won't go over too too much uh, into detail over how we set this up, but there are a couple of things that are important to mention. And that's uh, why we are going back to Visual Studio. And as you can see, we have the server application and I also have a shared, folder, uh, shared uh, project. And the shared project is actually a uh, Razor class library. Okay. Yeah, because what we did, is and that is something that you can also do with an existing application, an existing Blazor application. You can move your components out of the the application project and move it into a a, a class library. Right. Because what we did is very simple. We have a grid control, uh, and that determines whether to show the grid details or the grid list. And these controls are also in here. So the list is holding the uh, grid, yeah, the DevExpress data grid with all the settings and everything in there. And a couple of things are interesting to mention, but you will see that once we port this into the Maui app, we are using a 
yeah, it's it's the typical an invisible component, basically a blazer component, which allows us to bind certain breakpoints of the device with to a property. Nice. So what this basically does is that whenever the browser that runs the application has a max width of 400, then it is going to bind, it's, it's going to toggle the is small device property to true. Oh, nice. And if the minimum width, so this is typically a bit bootstrap-ish, but okay. we can do a, a, a bit more with this. If the minimum width is 401, then this property is going to be true. Nice. And these properties are just down below mm -hmm. here. Yeah, so here okay. we have the Boolean small and the large. Now we can use these properties to the visible properties of certain columns in the grid. Okay. So what you see is that if we are looking by default on a large device, this column, the fixed date, will be visible. While if we are on a small device, this will be false and this column will automatically be hidden. Because Good. of those breakpoints. Huh? So yeah. this is a, the typical nice trick. Um, and specifically for grids. And we're going to run it on like a mobile phone. So that right. has like a bit of a smaller screen. So we want to, yeah, not wanna outline print. all the information. Yeah, exactly. Only so specific with this, properties or specific columns. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And with this, with these breakpoints, it's, it's, it's very easy to set that up. Okay. Yeah, so, but the main point, if you want to migrate into the Maui app, you have to make sure that you have your components set up in a way that they can be put into a class library. What we also did in the class library is our data, uh, which shows the issues and the users, etc. But that's that's beyond the scope of this of this demo. Okay. Um. So this is typically what's been done. So what? What leaves us then in the Blazor application? Well, if I go to the pages and I go to the grid page, the only thing that we have here is the grid, okay. which was in the which which was in the in the class Got library. It. So that's a grid razor, grid razor yeah. component or Blazor component. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. So we we have put all the all the components into this library. So. How can we get this into the Maui app? Well, for that, I have already prepared a uh, a Maui application, which is also in the solution. Mm -hmm. And it has a couple of, uh, of pages and it's got a couple of things here. Uh, mm -hmm. What I did, I created a hybrid Blazor Maui application. That is a right. project template that comes with Visual Studio and that allows us to run Maui controls as well as uh, Blazor controls. Mm -hmm. So if we are take a, if we're going to take a look at uh, the program CS, then we'll see that we have added some stuff here. So we are using the Dev Express controls. Um, we use uh, a couple of other things which are uh, interesting here. The the Maui Blazor web view, obviously, because this. Yeah make sure that we're able to host those Blazor pages inside the Maui app in the right. web view. Huh? Basically, you, you still have a, a main XAML page, but the only thing in there is this web view, which is a yeah. very lightweight web control. And that's exactly what you need in order to uh, show Blazor content. Exactly. Mm. And that's also the reason why you should go for the uh, Blazor Maui hybrid project yeah. because it sets it up all together for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we also did in this demo is we have created a couple of Maui views and More pages, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maui pages basically. Mm -hmm. And obviously a best practice with Maui is to use the MVVM design uh, pattern. So we have a couple of few models here as well. And I should note and that that's really necessary for XAML pages yeah. which you you are combining xaml pages and blazor pages yep and so the xaml pages have the view uh the mvvm and the view models but the blazor pages don't right 
they don't need it. No, they exactly. Don't need it. Yeah. Yeah. So this this few models they come with the uh, Maui views. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we have a folder pages, which uh, where we can put in uh, Blazor pages, basically. Right. Yeah, so if we go to this one, you'll just have a regular Blazor code. Mm -hmm. So let's, um, what I also did is obviously I put a reference of that class library to, uh, into this Maui application. Right. So we'll have access to everything that comes in the, in the Razor class library. Nice. So let's uh, let's let's take a look at what we already have running now. So you'll have an idea how our existing uh, Maui app looks. Okay. And did I mention that we put some Dev Express Maui controls in this app as well? Mm -hmm. uh, so let me uh, reload it. And here you see our Maui app. Mm -hmm. It does not include the the grid yet, but right. we're going to do that in a minute. So let me uh, log in. And by the way, this app is a public repo, right? So you can yeah. just go download it and use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. So here we have already. Uh, this is this is one of our controls that is just displaying these blog posts. Mm -hmm. And if we go to the uh, the tab. This is also coming from, uh, these are also DevExpress MAUI controls. Okay. And if I go to the analytics, what you'll see here is that we already have charts from MAUI available as well. So these are native MAUI controls in a, in a native MAUI view. So this is XAML. Yeah, this is yeah. absolutely XAML. And what you can, that you can also see it right here in the MAUI view. So, sure. so we have the page view area chart. We have uh, the Analytics channels donor page. view. So yeah. this is all the stuff, what we're looking at right now. Nice. If I would go to the tasks, this is actually hosting that uh, grid page dot razor. It doesn't right. have anything yet, but you can see that as well in the code. There is yeah, nothing yeah. in there yet. Yeah. So if we want to load in that functionality, it is really a matter of including that grid control, which is coming out of that Razor class library. Right. And because that control is basically self-containing, so it has everything it needs to display the data, get the data, etc. cetera. Mm. This is all we need. Yeah, so if I would rerun the application, let's quickly do that. And then we're going to log in again. And here we have the native Maui uh, XAML, mm -hmm. and now we'll be loading our grid. Nice. And as you can see, remember that I talked about those breakpoints, the breakpoint yeah. control? Well, as you can see, we only have two columns here now. Nice. And that is because we have coded that functionality already in the grid blazer control. Very cool. And it, yeah. it has all the other features that it had in the desktop yeah. version. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can you can even uh, you can filter on one of those uh, guys. Let me see uh, that we pick one that is actually uh, in the list. So I see my more crawler is there. Roller is there. Yeah. So yeah. you see, this is just working exactly the same as it so, did on the Blazor page. So I need to just point out and reiterate here what you're looking at. You are looking at the same Blazor control that was running in the browser on the desktop. This isn't a, you know, an interface compatible Maui control, right? No. You're using the same control. It's the exactly. same code just yep. running on a Maui app on an Android phone or whatever. Yeah, yep. so that is really, really exciting. It is. And what we also did, maybe you remember that on the Blazor, uh, on the Blazor app, we had on top of the grid, we had this, uh, this column chooser. Mm -hmm. But because we have these responsive features that just work in Maui as well, as you can see, 
Mm. Uh, we now have that button here. And nice. now we get a column chooser again, but now it is totally geared toward a mobile phone in this case. And, and now it's it a has... responsive. Uh... Exactly. Exactly. And now I can right. actually say, it. I want to get rid of the assignee. I want to put the status in. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I want to have uh, something else as well, but still everything works as expected, but because it's responsive, it's displayed differently. John, this is great stuff. Uh, I I can't think of any questions, but because it, it it's just IJW technology, the, uh, the Maui team <laughs> yeah. has done a great job of of uh, letting us use Blazor everywhere, and Maui oh, yeah. is no exception. And it's funny, right after we're done with this recording, I'm going to show uh, I'm going to I'm going to be doing a um, uh, a sort of a demo for a, a user group showing them how to write a WPF app with Blazor. Isn't that crazy? That is, yeah, that <laughs> is totally cool. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, Don, this is great. And uh, thanks a lot. And where can we get this? Uh, can we show the URL here on the screen somewhere? Yeah, right we're going to put, yeah. Uh, we're going to put it on GitHub and you can just download it. Make sure that you install our components as well. You can test mm -hmm. them out for 30 days and even use our unmatched technical support for any questions i agree with that it's great all right thank you don You're and welcome. uh everybody out there have a great time at build absolutely <laughs> <laughs>